Hey guys, welcome back to another Paladins build in 3. Today we're going to be talking about Ying. Ying is my favorite support in the game right now, so let's get started with her skills. First we have her basic attack, which is her mirror, that deals shots in bursts of 5, 90 damage per tick. It's only effective up to a medium range. Then we have her LB ability, which is creating an illusion that heals allies for 350 a second. Her LT ability, Shatter, allows her illusions to chase down enemies causing 500 damage in an area per illusion. Her RB ability Dimensional Link allows her to teleport to the nearest and last active illusion. Last but not least, her ultimate Rift allows her to heal all allies on the field for 600 health per second for 8 seconds. While this buff is active, Dimensional Link may now teleport you to any ally. Getting right into her cards, her legendary cards are Focusing Lens, which deals 150 extra damage if you hit all 5 shots on the same target. Her lifelike card, illusions can now target 2 allies when healing, but illusions heal for 30% less. If you're planning on being a support slash healer, definitely take this card. It makes her healing a lot more effective. Resonance, if an illusion is killed or expires, it triggers a shattered explosion dealing 500 damage. Into the loadout, this is the loadout I've been using lately. Mesmerize with 1, Squadron with 2, Pursuit with 1, Carry On with 4, and Encouragement with 4. This has brought me all the way to Platinum 1. Every time I play Ying, I've been quite successful in healing my teammates. Alright guys, let's get into some quick tips for Ying. Number 1. Always have 2 illusions on the field at all time. Number 2. Try to place your illusions in a safe area where you can still heal your teammates and yourself. Number 3. Keep your distance from opponents. Stay alive. If you're dead, your tanks are going to die off quite fast. Number 4. If the other team has a lot of shielding, definitely take Wrecker. You can deal damage from medium range to shields and other opponents. Number 5. Try to save Dimensional Link for escapes and repositioning yourself in bad situations. Number 6. Learn when to shatter illusions. I find the best time to shatter illusions is when your team, mainly your tanks though, have full HP or have a high amount of shielding on them. Number 7. Don't be afraid to do damage. Ying can dish out a lot of damage between her basic attack and her shatter ability. Make sure you use this because your team needs your damage as well as your healing. Number 8. Learn when to use your ult. Timing Ying's ult can be very difficult for new players. I find it best to use your ult based on these few things. Enemy's ult. If the enemy uses a damage ult and you feel your team is going to take too much damage from it, that is usually a good time to pop your ult. Your team's positioning is also a very good indication of when you should use Ying's ult. Last but not least, your team's health bars. Ying's ult is a global ult, so make sure you use your team's health bar as an indication of when to use your ult. Definitely do not use your ult if there's only one other player on the field. This is not beneficial to the team and most likely is not going to make a difference in the game. Make sure you use your ult when most of your teammates are up. That concludes my Ying build in 3. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.